Hi, I'm Reed Rudden. I'm the State Chief and Goat Specialist for Texas A&M AgriLife Extension. And I'm here with Dr. Morgan Treadwell, our range specialist. Both of us work out of the San Angelo Research and Extension Center. So Morgan, I get a lot of questions about uh, how many sheep or goats should I have on my land? It might be East Texas, West Texas, North Texas. What's a, a, a general rule that can help these people get started? So there is a, a simple way to go about it. Stocking rate calculations can be really complicated, but it's only as complicated as you make it. So for this example, we're gonna use a quarter section of land, which is 160 acres. We're gonna divide it by 640. That'll give us 0 0.25. Now, what, what's oh, 640? So 640, there's 640 acres in a section. And so this example only works if you if you work it into, into sections. And so that's why we have that conversion factor up there. So we'll get 0 0.25, we'll take 0 0.25, and we're gonna multiply it your, by your average annual rainfall. Now for the Concho Valley, we estimated about 20 inches. You definitely don't wanna use a dry year example or an exceptionally wet year example. Focus on your average rainfall. So 0 0.25 times 20 inches of rain will give you approximately five animal units. Now that five animal units is in 1,000 pounds, okay? So 1,000 pounds for a cow example. We're gonna convert that over to sheep though. So we're gonna take the five AUs, we're gonna multiply it by six, and that's gonna give us approximately 30 sheep for that 160 acres read. Yeah, that seems pretty simple. Yeah. Take your acres, do it a section conversion, multiply it by rainfall, do a sheep or goat conversion. Pretty simple and straightforward. So if someone wants to get more detailed about it, because uh, this is just for native rangeland, it's not uh, right. for improved pastures or, or cropland or something like that, who do they talk to? So I recommend reaching out to your local county extension agent. They have the most local knowledge available and then also reach out to your local uh, NRCS conservation specialist as well, Reed. Good stuff, good stuff. Yeah. Thanks, Morgan. Thank you, sir.